but you know, I think basically just getting to meet everybody and be part of this, and also playing Island Road that first time, and uh, winning the cup, and you know, just being able to participate and play football every day, that's, that's been the highlights. Uh, I mean, it felt great, you know, it felt because, uh, you know, I think when we got here, our first game we got, we got like beat pretty bad. And uh, against Grimsby, I think we played, no one had trained and everything. And then uh, we just managed to progress. And I think our, our teamwork kept us together, which led to, the, to winning all those games. Well, as a person, I think you grow. You know, I think uh, being away from home really helps you put things into a different like, perspective, gives you a different outlook. And uh, I think you mature because, you know, because you're going to make mistakes out here. You know, I think everybody's had, uh, you know, those nights out and stuff like that. But you learn from them, and I think you just grow as a person, yeah. Really disciplined, you know, because, uh, you know, you start off and you live in a building with all the first years, and uh, everybody wants to go out, but that's because they're not um, they're not playing football. So, you know, you have to stick to the 48-hour rule and you really have to eat well, or else you're just going to be slow in games and you're, like, kind of fat. <laughs> and so that you do have to be really disciplined, yeah. Well, you know, before I came here, you know, I thought that going to school wasn't really important. Beginning of first year, you know, we learn about people that dropped out all this time. And, but I think as as you progress through it, it really starts to open your mind. Like it starts uh, helping you think about business ideas and uh, how you can uh, like explore theories and like the real world and stuff like that. And you make connections too. You know, you start talking with your friends. Uh, you know, when you're not going out, you know, you start talking about what you, what you want to do in the future. And I think it really it expands your mind. I think. I think that's how it helps you grow, yeah. I don't know, that's, that's good too, you know, and, uh, and I, th I think, yeah, they will get a good perspective of who Itoi really is, and, uh, and I'm excited to use those networks. You know, we got, you meet everybody from all over the U.S., like Danny, I think, is going to come to live out in L.A., and I think Addy wants to come out to L.A. too. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what happens. Uh, I think to uh, take advantage of the opportunity, you know, not many people are fortunate enough to get this opportunity, and, uh, the fact that it's being presented to you and that you're going to grow as a person and get to explore a whole different world, you know. I think uh, before I came on this program, I never saw myself, I think my dad told me to, I never saw myself like uh, coming out here, you know, just as a little kid, you dream about going to Europe and stuff like that. And now that this opportunity is presented to a person, it's, it's crazy, you know. I had to <laughs> knock on a lot of doors. Yeah. I had to knock on a lot of doors and really uh, because... I wasn't sure if I was gonna get the like the financial help and stuff like that, so I had to knock on a lot of doors to ensure that I can help pay for it and uh, help pay for my uh, food and stuff like that. And then I had to keep physically fit, which is you know there's a lot of temptations while you're not playing like uh, every day, and so that was that was tough. Yeah, but I did it. Yeah, <laughs> knowing that I can continue my my uh, my soccer and like knowing that I can continue going to school, you know, that's what really kept me going. You know. Again, take advantage of it, you know. Uh, I think we take a lot of things for granted as a group. Where, um, you know, it's going to go by fast, really fast. And uh, next thing you know, you're in third year and you're getting ready to leave. You know, and sometimes you say, oh, I don't, uh, I don't feel like walking in the rain or stuff like that. But I think you just got to enjoy it, you know, really every second. <laughs>